Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to show you how to connect your MSFET Neo with Android. So let's begin here immediately. As you can see we have the app that is called Zap. It's no more called MSFET app, which is one of the things that everyone is asking. You can see we have to allow Zap for Bluetooth and notification as well. We have three pages down below. At the third page, we have our profile and you can see my devices. I have the Sartos 3, which is the last uh, watch that I connected. We have to go here watch and we have watch without a QR code. You can see immediately it scans the Neo, which is awesome for me and is very easy to connect. You can see now it's trying to connect and bind with a new Neo. Let's see what happens here. It will take a couple of seconds. You can see in the watch it says binding, it's still not connected. And we have here to press the select button. You, it tells you in the app which button to press. And now that allows the app to connect with the watch. Now we have to activate the new device. And now we have activated after this the watch will restore uh, the settings and we have a, a couple of things that we have to allow here and do you can see we have to wait for this uh, watch to transfer all the new system the new things that we have in the new neo from msfit and after that we should be ready to go and use this app without any problem and as you can see it transferred the data, now it's connected and we have the percentage of battery and we have also full functions from the app to the watch. You can see we have Neo percentage of battery, after that we have the Stratos which we can change from the one watch to other. So let's get back to the first page and see what we got. As you can see we have here the steps that we did and the steps that we need to do. Also we have statistic for burn calories day, week, month. Uh, same with uh, sleep, day, week, month or year. You can see we have deep sleep, light sleep, short nap, awake time, etc. Also we have pre-sleep and other things for the sleep information. Also we have the PAI which we have in the uh, NEO as well. We saw the sleep statistic. Same with heart rate, you can see the statistic will be right here. And we have resting heart rate statistic, we have maximum heart rate minimum and the average. After that we have last uh, time to streak and we have a couple of recommendations here and we have a tool uh, bar at the bottom. Here we have in the second page enjoy watch alarm find device friends if you have any friend you can scan your their QR code we have here my goals incoming calls these are pre preference for yourself so you can go ahead and customize these things. We have app alerts. At the app alerts you have to go and allow zap in your settings of the phone, which is one of the things that always somebody will ask. So please go ahead in the settings of your phone, allow zap to notify you. That was the th uh, second page, now we are at the third, you can see the now is sensing, we have incoming calls, watch alarm, these are the things that we saw before, we have idle alert. After that we have incoming SMS and gold notification. We have find band again, the Neo will vibrate and will alert you. We have activity, hard rate, band location, left wrist to view info, hard rate detection, find phone. After that we will see run in background. Watch display settings, you can change the order of them, sound settings. We have weather, pairing restriction help in case you need anything you can see one of the what most asked question we have check for updates firewire version bluetooth address and unpair at the bottom in more we will see customer things you can choose the watch that you want to go for 
we have again my goals, my records, friends, again, add account, feedback, smart analyze and settings at the bottom. So here we can send a feedback or we have the settings starting from units, show status, notification, behavior tagging, check for updates and about also we have sign out at the bottom. So guys, this was all for today's video. I hope you find this video interesting and helpful. If so, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel and we will see you in the next video with another smart device.